Bill Murray started his career in acting with comic roles, but later moved on to do dramatic roles. He is a golf enthusiast, he worked as a caddy in his formative years, and it was here that he developed a keen love for the game. He is also a baseball enthusiast. As a young man, he started on the wrong note, getting arrested for possession of cannabis. He took his life in the right direction when he and his brothers set out to act in the comedy The Second City. This was followed by roles in Saturday Night Live. His first successful movie was Meatball. It was followed by the cult classic Caddyshack and box office hits such as Stripes and Tootsie. His most popular movie was Ghostbusters. He did dramatic roles in Wild Things, Cradle Will Rock, Hamlet, and in the 2001 critically acclaimed movie The Royal Tenenbaums. He provided the voice for cartoon characters such as Garfield and Mr. Badger in Fantastic Mr. Fox. He has no agents or managers and no entourage following him around. He is involved in providing affordable housing to low-income seniors through housing opportunities and maintenance for the elderly, HOME, to which he has made a generous donation. William James Bill Murray was born on September 21, 1950, to Lucille Collins, a mailroom clerk, and Edward Joseph Murray II, a lumber salesman. Murray had eight siblings. He attended St. Joseph Grade School and Loyola Academy. In order to fund his education at the Jesuit High School, he worked as a golf caddy in his teens. As a teen, he was the singer of a band called the Dutch Masters and performed in high school and community theater. He attended Regis University, Denver but dropped out and returned to Illinois. In 1970, he was arrested at Chicago's O'Hare Airport for trying to smuggle cannabis. He was convicted and sentenced to probation. He joined his brother in the cast for the improvisational comedy, The Second City, in Chicago and got to study under Del Close. This gave direction to his life and he took up acting. In 1975, he was cast in the short-lived ABC variety show, Saturday Night Live. Two years later, NBC invited him to their Saturday Night Live. He was with it for three seasons. In 1979, he landed his first movie role in the box office hit, Meatballs. It was followed by, Where the Buffaloes Roam, in which he portrayed Hunter S. Thompson. However, the movie flopped. In 1980, he restored his image as an actor with the cult classic, Caddyshack. The following years saw him act in box office hits such as Stripes and Tootsie. In 1984, he co-wrote and acted in The Razor's Edge. The movie did not do very well and he was so disappointed that he took four years off, appearing in only cameo roles. He took time off from movies, except for a cameo appearance in Little Shop of Horrors in 1986, to be with his family and to study philosophy and history at the Sorbonne. In 1988, he returned to movies with Scrooged. It was followed by the sequel Ghostbusters 2, the next year. He even co-directed the movie Quick Change with Howard Franklin. In 1999, he wrote a semi-autobiographic book, Cinderella Story, My Life in Golf, explaining his love for the game of golf. Once he decided to take up dramatic roles, his career started skyrocketing with roles in Wild Things, Cradle Will Rock, Hamlet, and in the 2001 critically acclaimed movie The Royal Tenenbaums. In 2004, he provided the voiceover for the cartoon character Garfield in Garfield, the movie, and two years later for Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties. In 2004, he worked in Wes Anderson's The Aquatic Life. He also starred in Jim Yarmusha's Broken Flowers. The next year, he appeared in cameo roles in The Darjeeling Limited and Get Smart. After a break from acting, he appeared in a notable role in the movie City of Ember in 2008. In the next year, he appeared in a cameo role in the comedy Zombieland. In 2012, he took up the role of President Franklin D. Roosevelt in the movie Hyde Park on Hudson. He also starred in Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. He starred alongside Johnny Depp and Jude Law in Wes Anderson's next film The Grand Budapest Hotel, which released in 2014. He is also renowned for his voicing work that include The Jungle Book, Garfield, The Movie, Isle of Dog, Fanatic Mr. Fox, and more.